So, a little PSA. Um, I had a mole, I guess like a new brown spot underneath my feet. And you know, in the medical world, at least in the nursing school, they always tell us that if you ever have a spot, you know, like a mole or anything grow where the sun don't shine, so like ears, feet, whatever, you know, stomach, well, I guess the sun shines there, but anyway, so it should always get it checked out. So I've told my oncologist about, you know, this mole and they're like, well, you know, your chemotherapy can cause moles and skin changes. So, you know, let's just watch it and watch it and watch it. And so it's irregular, but it's flat. So I was always like, oh, it's not raised, you know. Anyway, so, you know, you always give like a million excuses before you decide to do something. So I told her again at my last appointment and she's like, you know what, just go see dermatology um, because now I have like a rash on my back um, and my toenail is black. Yesterday, I ended up going to a dermatology office by mistake. Uh, my baby has been getting like a rash on her abdomen for like two, three months, like just random rashes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she's probably allergic to something, right? Like I'm feeding her something and she's getting an allergic reaction or maybe it's the diapers. So let me get her an allergy appointment. But while I was making my appointment for uh, dermatology, I guess I made it for her. Yeah, chemo brain is real. And so I, uh, so we ended up at the dermatology office yesterday and the lady's asking me about the rash and do I have any pictures of the rash? And I'm like, no, like the rash is gone. And I'm like, oh, that's because, and I'm like, don't you guys do allergy testing here? And they're like, no, I'm like, oh, okay. I think I made an appointment at the wrong place, but I have a couple places for, you know, a, a couple derm concerns. Can you check these out? And so anyway, by the luck of God, it worked out. They switched the patient thing and called my insurance and I got an appointment and I saw her. So I'm like, look, and I'm now in a rush because my girls go to theater class and they have their final performance today. I was like, oh my gosh, right? I so better with better lighting, right? Anyway, so interesting. So um, I show her the spot in the bottom of my foot, which I'll post a picture of. And I know it looks kind of crazy because uh, my foot is like super dry from the chemotherapy. And yes, it is uncomfortable and it's slightly painful um, because not only is it dry, but those uh, lines on my foot crack. And that's when it really hurts. It feels like giant or not giant, but like many, many paper cuts. So yeah, it's not comfortable to walk on at all. So I show her the mole and she's like, okay, I'm gonna look at it under a light. And if it looks any, you know, if I find anything funny, I'm gonna biopsy. And I was like, perfect. So she looks at it under the light and she goes, you know, Bob Marley died of melanoma of the feet. Yeah, not the best thing to say to a breast cancer survivor who's currently still on treatment. So now I'm freaking out that I have another cancer. So apparently chemotherapy can wake up non-melanoma skin cancers. So anyways, we got it biopsied and oh my God. So I have a little PTSD about needles. I am still, I don't know. I freak out about them. I don't like pain at all. Like I know I can give shots and I've saved many lives and I can't take it. Me personally, no. So, um, the lady goes to numb the area with lidocaine and I asked the medical assistant to stand next to me so that I can hold her while she um, gives me the shot. And oh my God, the moment that syringe went in there, I freaked out and I screamed so loud and I grabbed the lady so hard to the point that like I grabbed her chichos and the lady was like, oh my God. Yeah, it was her first week at a dermatology office working there. So... I felt awful, but at the same time, like I needed some TLC and she was so kind and she did. She hugged me. <laughs> that poor lady probably going to quit her job. <laughs> so anyway, they numbed it and they did a biopsy. And um, last night, my bandaid fell off. It's a big hole. So now I'm like, they decauterized it. 
and I'm freaking out, guys. Like, it had um, abnormal edges. It had some undulations, I guess. Oh, my God. What if I have another cancer? Like, what if now I have skin cancer? So, needless to say, I couldn't sleep last night. The biopsy is going to take forever to get the results. But I'm going back today because, oh, yeah, I left. And I forgot to tell her about my friggin' toe. So, luckily enough, they made me an appointment for today. So, like, the next day. And I'm going to show her the toe. So, yeah, um, I'm freaking out if I have another cancer. Honestly, legit. Like, I mean, I don't know what it means, right? I'm hoping it's basal cell, but I don't know anything about cancer. So, I don't know if I need chemotherapy or they just cut my toe off. Or, like, mm. like what do you do for, like, nail cancer? So, or, like, toenail cancer. So, anyway, um, freaking out here. And I guess I'll see about the nail thing today. So, wish me luck, please.